According to the Ministry of Relief and Disaster Preparedness, thousands of refugees living in Uganda from Rwanda, Burundi and Kenya are supposed to be repatriated. However, the repatriation is supposed to be voluntary according to the tripartite agreement that was signed between the listed countries and the government of Uganda. And our thinking is that all of them should be ready to go home. If some of them, like many, will always have some second uh, thought about returning to their country, then we shall look at their peculiar needs. Most of these refugees fled the conflicts from their home countries, like the civil war in Burundi and the 1994 genocide in Rwanda. According to Echeru, majority of the refugees living in Uganda from Burundi, besides the recent influx of others fleeing conflicts in eastern DRC and South Sudan. If all of them will be ready, it can be a question of days from today. Echeru says over 500 Burundian refugees have in the last one week shown interest in voluntary repatriation. We are talking about if all the remaining 3,200, because there are about 3,700 of them registered in Nakivale and Oruchinga. If the remaining caseload of 3,200 also accept to go back after particularly learning that these ones who have returned have returned in safety, they have been received in dignity, and nobody is harming them. I am very convinced that all of them will be happy to return to their country. The repatriation comes on the heels of reports that the sacked Burundian vice president, Bernard Basokoza, and parliament speaker Charles Nditeje went to exile early this week. Their fears that this could breed yet another conflict similar to that of South Sudan after sacked former Vice President Riyak Mashal and his army supporters plunged the youngest nation into a full-blown conflict formed along tribal lines. Although there is seeming peace in Rwanda, Echeru says the government is still having difficulty in repatriating the Rwandan refugees. We, we have a big challenge from Rwanda. Uh, yes, they are, they are, you know, first of all, there is the secession clause. The secession clause was uh, stipulates that uh, all a certain caseload of Rwandese soon will no longer be considered refugees because you know their conditions back home have will have kind of been overtaken. So they are in their thousands also. But uh, the unfortunate thing is that there are still a few new caseloads that are continuing to filter into Uganda. Other refugees expected to return to their home countries are the over 1,600 Kenyans, mainly the Kikuyu, staying in Kiriandongo after they fled the Rift Valley conflict. Uh, according to the technical groups that we have sent to make an assessment of their areas of origin, that their homes were destroyed, their land apparently taken over by other people, so they are finding it a lot difficult to return to their country. But we are discussing with the government of Kenya to find space and a place for these citizens of theirs, because conditions that obtained at the time of their fleeing, in our view, no longer obtained. We would want to spend our resources in addressing the new case laws of, say, like DR Congo and South Sudan. The recent conflicts in eastern DRC in South Sudan, over 317 refugees. training. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.